and welcome to this Fleet Ops commentary. I am Hal Fala, or just Hal, and today I bring you a 1v1 on Duel uh, version, uh, excuse me, Duel 2 version 1.1, I believe. Down here we have the red. Romulans, which I believe is Mal, and yes it is. And up here we have also as the Romulans Fallout, so this should be a rather interesting matchup here to see how they do. If you take a look up here, we see that Fallout is going right into a research institute, as well as his Tritanium mining, and down here we have Mal doing the exact same thing although slightly behind so we see that they are are copying each other and of course they both see this and I suppose are having a bit of fun with it um, that they're exact doing the exact same thing so we'll see how that affects them and whether they change their strategy at all And we see that even though, down here with Mal, that even though he is putting up the mining station at his Tritanium Moon, he does have a miner grabbing some Dilithium over there, which will make the little trip over. And back up here with Fallout, he has put all the miners straight on his Tritanium Moon, so a little bit different from what Mal is doing. If we look over here, we have Fallout Smogai class, who is putting up a Star Yard. Um, I would expect to see a couple re-ends at first. And again, Mal is doing the exact same thing. So, we'll see how the first skirmish goes. Uh, very simple beginning to both of them. And we'll see that Fallout's yard is almost up, and we'll see what he queues up in there. And nothing as of yet. So, oh, and there we go, Laval's. A couple Laval's on that side, and let's take a look down at Mal and two Laval's. So, again, the exact same strategy. So, it looks like this will come down to who is the better player. Or who's more lucky and of course you see that Fallout is recognizing that they are doing the exact same thing whether this is intentional or not I don't know but it should prove interesting you see Mal over here is sending this Mogai class constructor over to the expansion while Fallout is doing the exact same thing so we have a fairly interesting mirror match going and we see that Fallout has got the Laval system upgrade researching. Um, do not know if Mal has gotten that quite yet. Uh, we'll be able to tell though, I believe, when the first Laval comes out. But again, thanks to the scouting, both of them know exactly what the other is doing. And let's see, so Fallout has his first Laval here. And you see that it has auto repair systems. And down here we have Mal's Laval, which also has the auto repair system. So I do believe that means that he does have the first system upgrade. And he is moving that Laval now it looks like over to the expansion that Mal had that he has yet to put up. But as you see, as Mal is moving his Laval over to where his expansion will be. So is Fallout moving his Laval down. Except the interesting thing is Fallout's Laval is not cloaked. So he does not know that Mal's Laval is there. Okay, and here we go. I would expect... Yep, and there goes the decloak. And that first little volley on the Laval is going to do a little 
a much better. You can see that Fallout is focusing on the Constructor, although he's not going to be able to put up enough damage to keep this station from building, and it will be done in 7 seconds. And you see that the Laval there is just taking damage from the other one. Fallout's not even worrying, and he should more than likely he'll be retreating fairly soon. Oh, nope. And there you see the special going off, the auto repair system, bringing that shield power up very quickly, while Mal is still trying to take out the Laval. I would expect to see it get cloak away fairly soon. Oh, and here Mal comes with another Laval. Fallout is going to be getting out of there. And there you see the two second cloak going off. He's going to be able to get away. And he he had to leave. He did not get a kill. And here we see a little scout. No, scout just following. And up here at Fallout, you see that Fallout has gone to put up an extra star yard at his expansion. However, and queuing up Laval's. However, he is currently resource locked on that, and not being able to build more of those Laval's are quite expensive. So he is going to have a difficult time double yarding them with no expansion as of yet. Now, as you see, Mal is moving his two two Laval's towards the expansion, while Fallout does have a, a two Laval's himself. But they are staying at his base. Over here you see yep, no Laval's being built on the Fallout side. While it does appear that Mal is building a Griffin to support. Now Mal is taking down this constructor and he, he will destroy it. And there you go, you see Fallout has cancelled the yard. And he should be able to get the constructor into the star yard to repair. And here comes Fallout's Laval's, but Mal, having done the job, will be looking to get out of here. And you see that I'm just trading fire back and forth, but Fallout is going to retreat, and they'll both go back to their respective sides. Down here, we see that again. Mal is building a griffin to support his Laval's, more than likely use the special. Uh, I do apologize, but I do not quite know what that special is, but we'll take a look at it once it's done, if it has been researched. We see Fallout is going to take two of his Laval's, and he is going to be moving them towards Mal's expansion, I believe. While Mal has his two Laval's and, excuse me, three Laval's and a Griffin. So he does have the numbers here on Fallout. And Fallout is again coming in with his Laval's uncloaked. Um, I would believe that would be to keep their special energy so that they can use the repair. But he's going to be at a slight disadvantage here with 4 to 2, 3 Laval's and a Griffin versus, and there they go, firing on that Laval. We'll see if they have enough damage to get the Laval before it can cloak out. You see the Laval using its auto repair system. It's trying to get away, it's being damaged, but it is going to be able to cloak away. No, it is not. Oh! And the Laval going down. Uh, I wonder if that scout got that shot off. That would be rather funny. Or a slight sad. Oh, and he has upgraded the scout into a tap that it's the Talon refit. That ping is going to keep the Laval out from from cloaking, and that Laval is going to go down. As you see, the the three Lavals and the Griffin just taking out that Laval, and Fallout is it as is excuse me at a severe disadvantage right now. And we look up back at his base, and he still just cannot produce those Laval's. Let's see, he is short some resources, and we see that it is Dilithium that he's hurting on badly right now. But he is building some more Laval's, but he only has the one, and it's just not going to be able to do anything. Um, moving in here, he is going to, oh, and that's just not good at all. 
where where's the Talon refit? The Talon refit scout is down there. Oh, and that Laval, I don't know if it's going to be able to actually get the repair off. Oh, and it's a slight physics block, and he is going to lose the Laval, and that is unfortunate. Um, yeah, it it does appear that this is the end for Fallout, and there's the good game. So, thank you everyone for joining me on my second Fleet Ops audio commentary. Um, I hope it wasn't too bad. And we will see you next time. Thanks for joining us.